Hey guys, it is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Welcome to our Wednesday webinar here at the International Institute of Aesthetic Arts and Beauty. I am Ashley, the owner, CEO, founder, all the things of the International Institute of Aesthetic Arts and Beauty. I hope everybody is having a lovely Wednesday. Today's segment is going to continue our series with our waxing. Last week, we talked about um, the growth cycles. The week before, we just came, gave like a general um, analysis. Today, we're going to be talking um, about men's waxing and how that is a really great way to tap into um, not only another source of income when you're trying to build up your service ticket as an esthetician, but also a really good way to um, learn some of the different hair patterns and curls and follicles um, according to that hair growth pattern that we talked about last week. So this week's segment um, is featuring a male's back wax and it took three of our esthetician students two hours and a half a pot of soft wax later but they got it done. And then we cooled down his back with um, facial globes Facial globes or your cold hammer are a really good way to help that inflammatory and histamine response from waxing. As I've mentioned before, waxing is not only hair removal, it's also a form of exfoliation. So depending on the type of skin your client has when you are waxing them, sometimes you may see flakes come up. Sometimes you can see pigment come up. Um, sometimes you'll pull out the whole entire follicle, like you'll see um, like you like ripped it out, if you will, the bulb part of the follicle, I should say. So there is different um, things that can come up when you're waxing. So you want to calm down the response because waxing is kind of like um, a controlled trauma, if you will. Even though you're removing the hair, you're still traumatizing the skin because you're removing an appendage that's a part of the skin from its natural um, place, you know, hair is stationary in the skin. So when you not only move it, but you're moving, removing it with force, it creates trauma. Well, that trauma has a response and that response is inflammation, sometimes pinpoint bleeding. Um, it could also, um, show as redness in some cases, irritation, depending on medications, underlying diseases, so on and so forth. So one thing that we did for our back wax, um, client is we cooled him down with facial globes. So anytime you get done with the wax, once you're done with the treatment, you have to do your post wax service, right? You have your pre-service, you have your actual service or treatment, and then your post service or post uh, post procedure. So in these particular segments, we're showing how, um, we did post procedure, um, post procedure, tactics, if you will. Actually, I don't really think it shows it, but that's what we did at the end of it. We put um, facial globes and we rubbed it all over his back. So that way it gave like a cooling sensation. So he was able to um, leave not as inflamed. Thanks again for tuning in. We have a short segment today. Next week, we will continue on um, with our waxing. Um, segment and continue to tell you about all the things about waxing and hair removal and just give you some tidbits of information that you'll learn when you come to the Institute. We are slowly growing um, and expanding into different markets, if you will. We're um, gathering different partnerships. So we're still steadfast on um, the purpose and will that God has and the provisions that he's made for the school. If you or someone you know is interested in becoming a licensed esthetician or a licensed eyelash technician, please feel free to visit us online at www.iioaaab.education. Yes, education is fully spelled out. You can also email us at info at iio You can set up a kindly appointment where you can either have us call you and we'll talk to you about your beauty goals and dreams, or you can um, take a school tour where you can come see the facility, see what we're offering, get a feel for the culture, the vibe, the environment, see our classrooms and our spa and our whole setup and what we are about. 
All of those are available to you. We also have various social media outlets from Instagram, which is just IIO, triple A-B. Same thing for Facebook, our handle. You can also find us on Twitter. Um, You can find us on TikTok. Um, And I think that's it. LinkedIn, all the spots. Um, You can find us. Feel free to reach out to us, call us, tweet us. DM us, text us. We're here to help answer questions and hopefully just help you find what you're passionate about. I mean, I think it's super important to find what you're passionate about in life. So that way, when you're working, you never really feel like you're working because you love what you do and it's not a chore or a job. It's actually something that you enjoy doing. So you look forward to doing it. The beauty industry has taken me many a places. I never thought at the age of 19, Getting a license, an aesthetics license, not a degree, a license would, um, you know, be the fortitude for allowing me to open um, my own business as well as my own spa and then help others find their passion. Not only find their passion, but educate them about the beauty of being an esthetician, not just doing a facial, but as I'm always speaking about the different body um systems that you affect a lot of people don't realize how intricate touch is I mean it's just you know simply giving someone a hug or a handshake or something like that it creates so many sensations and messages and responses and processes in the body like we have no idea that a lot of this stuff is going on but as estheticians we are taught the different um things that we're able to tap into as far as producing stimulation that helps with hair growth, right? Um, Also helping with psychological benefits through massage when we are simply just doing um, a pre-cleanse massage or when we're just educating our clients on intrinsic and extrinsic factors of why their skin may look the way it looks, so on and so forth. Just having the education is really pure knowledge, not just for the esthetician, but also for the people the esthetician encounters when she has a thorough understanding of what it's about, you know, how to utilize it, and then how to apply what she's utilizing and then turn around and educate someone else on the very things that she's doing for not only herself, but for the people she encounters. So that's just a little bit about us. You know, we really are here to help our communities. We want to build people. We want to build our families. We want to build communities. We want to help people really chime in to the best of them. Um, because, I mean, it's infinite. I mean, it really is. When you truly have an understanding of who you are and what you want to do and you feel good in your best version, like, you're going to be you're gonna be out there, you know, changing lives. Hopefully shedding light. So, again, check us out on any of our um, social media, website, outlets, call, text, write. Um, we are here. We are having a session start on May 30th. It is going to be um, a really great session. It's going to be a night session for our part-time aesthetic students. So if anybody's interested in starting Tuesday through Friday from 5.30 to 9.30 um, at our Allen campus, we would love to have you there um, and just help you, you know, decide what it is that you want to do. If you need assistance with anything as far as the application, um, potentially financing, or you just have questions, again, reach out. We are here. We are a resource, and we um, are able to help. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back next week with with another webinar, if I could talk. Every time, I always manage to slip up somewhere. Um, So check us out. We'll be continuing our um, waxing series series throughout the duration of um, May, and then we'll jump into some new things. I hope everybody stays safe, stays warm, stays true and happy and at peace and just filled with life, but life that is abundant.